and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the end of the season for 2030-2031. Now we're playing in Skybet League One, uh, being promoted just this season. So um, it's our first season end for Skybet League One. And so far we have managed to stay away from the relegation zone. So we are in 19th and we avoided relegation altogether. We're going to play not to cope. And um, yeah, that's just going to decide where we finish in this kind of 16th to 20th range. So pretty good season, all things considered. Um, and also, actually, let me just show you something. So I had a, uh, a look at the team just to kind of see. I couldn't quite remember. Um, I think in the last episode I, I said we hadn't had a, a change to attacking midfielders right for like seven years and I was spot on by the way and I went to look at our attacking midfielders right and if you look at the history Raylon has been with us for eight years he's our longest serving longest continuous serving player there are there's someone else who's been with us on and off from 22 23 but yeah, he's our longest continuous serving member for eight years. And if you go down the list of players, we have quite a few that are been with us for a long time. Especially like if they've been with us from since the national. So uh, Owen Evans, the goalkeeper, has been with us since the national, but not for as long. I spent a long time in the national, by the way. Um, who else? Um, Ben has been with us since the national. Uh, first of all, for, uh, on a loan and then for free. Uh, Jaden Lott. And uh, the, that's, this, this is the other attacking midfielder, right? Adam Oshie has been with us for seven years. Our def uh, right defender has been with us as well from the national, although on and off. Nathan Stewart. This guy's been with us since the start, on and off. So he was with us in that first season, on loan. So he's been with us since the Van Ram and North. Um, so yeah, so you can kind of see my point about... I keep making this point about... Um, so is Harrison Burke, actually, from the National Van Ram and North. Um, from the North uh, the Division. Since the start, on and off. Uh, I can kind of see my point about some of these players. They're outplaying themselves essentially they they should not be in this league Patrick Casey are a striker since the National League yeah so they've been with us for a long time and um, yeah so this team as a whole needs to be updated to be able to compete uh, for the highest spots of Skybet League One and they've been outperforming themselves for a while so it was a bit of a miracle that we got promoted last season Anyway, so looking at the finances, just to put this into context, there's no way we can do this unless the club does something about it. Unless someone buys the club and injects a load of cash, or I'm not even sure we can win prizes and, and, and kind of use that as our way out of this. So there aren't really many ways we can make this money back. Uh, not even selling youth, I don't think. By the way, I use teams, uh, the under 21 is still struggling, they are quite weak compared to other teams in their league. Uh, the league's finished for them now, so they finished ninth. The other 18s are third currently. They have two more matches to play, I think. Yeah, two more matches to play. So, theoretically, they could still make it into the first place. So they're doing okay. We're gonna play our last match here against Knots, and yeah, it doesn't really matter what the outcome is, to be fair. We are safe from relegation, and that is what matters. The board has renewed my contract, so I'm pretty safe for the next couple of years. Um, yeah, so we're going to carry on on this journey of trying to improve Hereford. Also, the board has promised a... In the vision, they've promised to expand the stadium, but they haven't done it. I think it's because they don't have money for it. I'm just going to sip on my hot beverage for a minute. The 
the team hasn't had any changes since the last time, since the last episode, so I've not introduced any different players. Still the same players. As you can kind of tell from my going, flicking through the players, as just a minute ago, a lot of these players have been in the cup for a while. So they know each other pretty well. I think Rilon Dillon might actually retire this year, so our longest serving member might um, disappear. But not bad, eight years with the club and coming up all those leagues. It's pretty good, pretty good service. Though he's been one of our weakest players for ages, him and, and his partner Adam O'Shea. That position has been one of our weakest points for quite a while. And if he retires, of course, he means that we are forced to get someone in, but I'm not sure if we get someone in, there will be necessarily an improvement. Well, they will be younger, which is an improvement. Well, I hope they will be younger, anyway. Is that a penalty? No. Being sort of bombarded here by not our defense is doing pretty well at keeping them off. Just uh, seems like our attack is not strong enough to carry on a counter attacks. But we've been kept clear of the relegation zone all season, except for like the first few weeks we dropped into it a couple of times. But since the once the season stabilized, then we um, then we were well above the relegation. We I think we went up to fourteenth at one point, so we were well above the relegation zone all season, pretty much healthy distance away from it, which is nice. And we went pretty far in the Papa John's trophy. <clears throat> we eventually lost to the Man City under 21s, I think in the semi. Finally, might have been the, it might have been the quarterfinal or the semi final. Yeah, but you know, Man City and the 21s, they are a tough ask. I'll, I'll check the competitions in a minute. So, Jay Green, he's just a under, I think he's an under 21. Yeah, under 21s. Because uh, Adam Oshi is tired or injured or something. I can't quite remember. But anyway, so we're giving him a spot in this lineup. us down into 20th, I think. Um, what other subs can I do? That. And that. Sai, he's also played with us in the senior squad, but he's now in the end of 21s. Uh, he's actually from our youth academy. Um, I think. Oh, maybe, maybe he's not. He's too old to be from my youth academy. Oh. That's interesting. For some reason I had it in my head, he was in our youth academy, but he's not. Okay. But yeah, he's also not from the main squad, just filling up for, filling up for players that are tired and injured. Okay, 
last up, 20 minutes to go. Let's put bark in. No, wait, Sai is part of the main team. I don't know why, why I said that. Tompkinson's is not. Tompkinson's is, is um, a guy with... Yeah, just a lot of S's. There's a guy called Simon Tompkinson's that um, we sometimes play. And he is part of our... Under he was also he was part of our academy and he was part of the main team at one point. But he's on the under-21s. Sai, yeah. Sai is... He used to play on the right side. That's why I was... Bit confused why he was in the left at the moment. Anyway, not uh, scores a second goal, which puts us behind. It doesn't alter anything except that we now are. I think we're gonna yeah fi fifty one points, but obviously we're still in twentieth because um, they themselves have been relegated. Right. So let's take a look at the end of season. Before I go ahead any further, I think I probably need to cancel the just the because the club is hemorrhaging money. I'm gonna see if I can. I can't drop any loans yet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No problem. Yeah. Budget is very small for next season. Very small indeed. Uh, increased a little bit of our following. Vision for next season. Negotiate. Okay. They're asking for a lot more things. They're asking for sign up under 23 players. And I always try and reduce. I wasn't able to reduce anything, I think. Okay, we're going to have to accept that. Where should we go? Scotland? Or West Midlands? Scotland, I think. Confirm. Uh, I think I'm going to do the same as last year, so... Have uh, you been encouraged by the... No, it's been a long season. It's been a long season and you've done a brilliant to stay up. You're going to need to come back fully rested because I think... I think I might say this. Oh no. Oh well. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I managed to turn it around, but not really. Okay, so maybe I should have gone even lower than that. 
Yeah, 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 that's fine. I always hate those meetings because you don't really know how the team is going to respond. It's a bit of a... It feels like a little bit of a gambling. Like, you don't know. We can't judge the room. Which, because you're not in a room. It's a game, so... Anyway. Let's just see how the end of season plays out here with the uh, awards and stuff. And by awards, I mean the team awards, not not the league awards. I don't think we're up for any awards for the league because we came so low down. There's one more game to be played, and they could actually win the league, I think. The under-18s got three points to catch up with Newport. They're playing Shrewsbury next. They didn't make it. They won, but I think Newport also won. No, Newport drew their game, so they achieved one point. Okay, so they were one point away from being champions, which is fair enough. So that's the end of the under-18s. Obviously, we're still waiting for the end of the league, senior league. The playoffs are playing out, I think. Not yet. And then we'll have our end of season, I think. Okay, so that's the first set of playoffs. So who was that? Uh, Sheffield Wednesday and Birmingham. sponsorships that's interesting we have a pretty low budget again for scouting let me just look at uh, a lot more broadcasting revenue but that was about it everything else was mm, very much the same wait for these playoffs. They're taking ages. By the way, Dowling is an under... under 21s, I think. He's on um, 
the under 20s World Cup for Northern Ireland. Uh, sorry, Republic of Ireland. Ireland. So that's why he's showing he's on international duty. Got a player poached. Any of these? No. Can't send those away yet. Transfer wise, we'll have some clauses then in future. Uh, should have cashed in on that clause for Alex when I had the chance. He's lost value. Alright, here we are. So, this is what I was waiting for. Sheffield Wednesday was promoted. It's pretty accurate. Okay, and then no, no no record breakers today this season. I won the manager of the month once for May. Fan player of the year, goalkeeper, Owen Evans. Young player of the year, the defender, Dexter. Signing of the year, Chris Austin. Actually he was signed last year, anyway. Um goal of the season by Ben, top goal scorer with nineteen goals, Patrick. Real uh, Dylan with seven assists. That's how poor <laughs> our attacking midfield is. Uh, they don't have many assists. Bless them. Um, most pl it does. This also means that the assists come from a variety of places, but it also shows that we didn't score many goals this year. Most player of the match award three for Owen Evans, highest ranking. Owen Evans with only seven point one, so that's quite low. And Chris Austin with the most passes completed per 90 minutes. I've never actually went through this timeline, I don't think. And it seems like it's just not very interesting. Oh yeah, that was our defeat for the Papa Johns against Man City and the 21s 8-1. That was heavy. Uh, yeah, so Sai, Ben, and Jaden Lott were added. I have a few changes here. So this is our goalkeeper. This guy is gone from the club a long time ago. Burke is still at the club. This guy's gone from the club for a long time ago. Size of the club. This guy's gone for a long time ago. Stringer is still at the club, Ray Long still at the club. Fettles at the club, but he's in the under 21s because um, I had two young kids on loan for that position in the main squad. And then Casey and Stewart, they are our current strikers, although Stewart hasn't done very much this year, or the previous year for that matter. And we are receiving a solidarity payment of 723k, which is, is going to help, but as you can tell, we're still quite low down on um, on our finance. And that is it, I think, for today. Um, I'll come back when I've managed to put a squad together for next season. And I'll catch up with you guys then. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Take care. Bye-bye.